What's going on guys? Welcome to another reel review and today we're going to be talking about the Fluger President spinning reel. Now I've owned this reel for a well over two years now so I'm going to give you a full review on you know what's up with this reel, how it performs, how it's been over the past two years that I've had this reel and uh, just run over the specs one more time with it and then give my honest opinion so let's get to it. So this reel retails for about 50 bucks. It's definitely a fair price for the quality you get out of the reel. Great beginner reel, beginner up to expert, you know, whatever your budget is for reels but this reel definitely stands above all the other reels in that price range, no doubt. When I initially picked up this reel, I was looking for something smooth, something that wouldn't break the bank and something I felt that would last me a good while. Uh, when I picked this up, I noticed that the reel was pretty lightweight for being only 50 bucks it weighs in at 8.8 .8 ounces and I noticed that this reel was buttery smooth right when I picked it up and it still is to this day after two years this reel is built with an advanced 10 bearing system and ensures smooth performance cast after cast this reel has an encased graphite body and it features a stainless steel and oil felt drag that provides consistent drag pressure and increased corrosion resistance it comes with an aluminum bail it's got the really soft and grippy knob here along with the uh, aluminum handle that goes to the body of the reel now when I first got this reel I was younger and I was I, this was before my bait casting day. Um, I would throw everything on spinning reels. So this reel has taken a lot of abuse from heavy lures. I think the heaviest lure I threw on this was a three quarter ounce jig when I had braid on this and a 130 size whopper ploppers. This reel has caught over 300 fish easily in the past two years. And um, I am seriously impressed with how this thing performed and still performs to this day. This is the 30 size. I like to use usually six to eight pound line and it holds about 145 yards of six and 130 yards of eight pound line. To this day, this reel is still, like I said before, it's very smooth, very sleek looking. I took good care of it. The bail is still super smooth on it. Clicks into place, cast it out, clicks back down. Very smooth reel, no wobble on it at all. The only thing I really have to complain about with this reel, and it's not even that bad, the drag sort of wore out a little bit on me. Um, obviously, I've been using it for well over two years, caught plenty of fish on it through lures that I probably shouldn't have been on it. And um, when I used to get lures snagged and I had heavy braid on it, I would just pull and pull and pull and you know, I'd be peeling drag, I'd crank it all the way up and still be peeling and that really just wore down the gears in this. I'm a Shimano guy and I, I got into higher end reels at this point, like I like the Stratic and everything and that's a completely different class from these type of reels. But if you're if you're looking for a good price range reel, 50 to $100, I wouldn't even spend the extra 50 bucks for a $100 reel. This thing will perform like any $100 reel will. So overall, my honest opinion is you should definitely consider buying this reel if you're in that price range, 50 to $100. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a bit from the short review. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, peace.